Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jeremy AK Uzaru Jirambe back again with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. On the global side, we now have the Extreme Z Battle and Extreme Z Awakening for the LR Fizz Trunks. So in this video, we'll be talking team builds and tactics for taking on the event. We'll take a look at the effective category of space traveling warriors. And finally, I'll be taking on stage 10 so you can see just what I'm doing for the event. And hopefully we can get you all of the rewards and other things associated. So we'll hop right into that here in a minute. But first, make sure you check out that link in the description below to join the awesome Discord community. We have tons of people playing Dokkan Battle and Dragon Ball Legends. Always a fun place to hang out and chat and get any in-game help you may need. So look forward to seeing you over there. If you're new to the channel or you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future content like this. Make sure you drop a like on the video today if you found any useful information, and comment down below if you have any additional questions or comments. So let's go and hop over to the Dokkan Wiki real quick. I don't talk about the Extreme Z Awakened stats of this unit in this video, but you can check in the top right of this video right now. I actually did do a video earlier on going over just what this guy gets with his Extreme Z Awakening, which is pretty good, so you can check that out, or you can check the link in the description below. But um, our weakness, of course, for this unit, we've got Space Traveling Warriors, which will take less damage from the unit, and of course, the Legendary Power Link skill, which is all LR units. So as per the usual, you want to take in any LRs of that effective category and any strength type units bonus points because of course they have type advantage we've got 10 stages here to get all of our awakening medals some grand kais and some dragon stones and again we have some missions for beating or a mission i should say for beating stage 7 we get three extra dragon stones so all together we can get 33 dragon stones five grand kais all of our awakening medals and some hidden potential orbs so pretty good stuff there but uh, the Space Traveling Warriors category, unfortunately, the only main lead is the Strength Bojack. You do have some sub leads, but it's not very uh, good as far as that goes. So if you get that Strength Bojack, that is going to be the main guy you want to bring in. Although he is not an LR, he has a really good uh, leader skill, so he can really help bring the team in general to where it needs to be to be dealing some good damage. Now, uh, as far as the LRs go, your LR strength units, of course, you do have quite a few of them here. Um, those are going to be the main ones you want to bring if you have them, especially, especially the free-to-play first form Frieza. He is a prime battle unit, and he has an Extreme Z Awakening, and he is actually, I'd say, one of, if not the most important unit for this because he can deal some massive damage to the trunks. So if you have him, definitely bring him in, and we'll also be talking some more about him in a minute. But you have a lot of strength type units you can bring in. Um, if you can, try to avoid your int type units because they have type disadvantage. And if he super attacks one of them, he can really put a dent in your health bar. But other than that, of course, on the global side, we don't have some of the units. The 7th the, uh, Anniversary LR Giant Ape Vegeta, we don't have him. But the rest of these units are usable. Some of them better than others, of course, but you can play around with the team builds. It shouldn't be too bad, but one thing I will say is the Space Traveling cate uh, Warriors category actually has a lot of TUR units, especially strength type units. So if you are missing LRs to fill up the entire team, you can bring in some of these strength type units and you should still be able to do some good damage. You won't be dealing as much because, of course, they aren't LRs, but they still will be able to mitigate a good chunk. And uh, we'll scroll the rest of the way down so you can see all those Fizz units. You can kind of play around with it a little bit. It isn't too hard to get a full LR team, but again, if you don't have all LRs, you should still be able to bring in a TUR or two. And we'll actually take a look at that um, on the uh, on my friends list. You can see some of the team builds that these guys have. Not too bad. Um, and they've been, uh, quite a few people have been getting up to stage 10 with that. But I'll show you just what I'm using to take on the event. Let's talk about a few team builds here real quick. So... Uh, this is the main team that I'm using. You can see it's a full LR strength team besides the uh, strength Bojack, which of course is our, our space traveling warriors category lead. So this is the team that I would recommend for taking on the event if you have all these units. If you don't, there's some other things you can do. Um, if you don't have the Bojack for a lead, you can also do the strength Turles as a terrifying conquers lead. All of these units are terrifying conquers units. So you can go in and you can take these guys and you can see that I've got the TUR Strength Cooler. He does not do too bad, even at the higher levels. He can kind of, uh, you know, he can do his, he can still do some damage and he can still mitigate some damage, but he's not going to be your MVP by any means. But 
all of the units, including the Bojack, will be terrifying Conqueror's units, so the Turles is a good secondary lead if you do not have the Bojack yourself. And some other cool things, the uh, the Freeze that we were talking about earlier, he does some good damage, but also he has a, if you get him Extremes Awaken, he has a decent leader skill that can still help you beat the event because he still gives Extreme Class Key Plus 4 HP attacking defense plus 90% or Super Class 70%, but if you can, try to stick to all Extreme type units and make sure they are LRs and you should be able to uh, you should be able to beat the event. Still, if you wanted to bring some TURs, the Strength TURs, including this uh, the uh, Strength Cooler, you should still be able to do it with that. And then another option if you don't have LRs of just showing you some of these units. All of these units are not bad for replacements as TURs. Uh, you know, try to get as many LRs as you can in there, but all of these units would be decent to replace any of these guys if you don't have all of them. But let's go ahead and hop into it, and we'll show you just what these guys are doing on the event. Stage 10, of course, the final stage. And we're going to be able to hopefully get off... Yeah, there we go. We're going to get a good super attack with the Frieza. But the Trunks is attacking a lot in that middle slot. The uh, the Beerus and we should be able to tank a decent chunk, but that is a lot there. So let's see what we can do. We're not going to be able to get the super attack off there in the middle slot. Um, and the, the pan should be fine. Another thing is the, uh, the LRB pan. Uh, she does have an active skill. After a few turns, you can go in and you can activate that and it really helps to deal some extra damage. Uh, the best combo that I've seen is if you can get the active skill off with the LRB pan, she uh, can activate that from the third turn to start a battle, and all allies get attack plus 33%, and then you're able to go in with the first form Frieza, and doing a super attack usually deals a lot of damage. So, I'm telling you, the LR first form Frieza has been probably one of the highest damage outputting units since I've uh, started the event, consistently he's getting big numbers, like over 5 million each time. So definitely a good unit to bring in. So unfortunately, let's go ahead and throw that friend unit, because he does have the Bojack rainbowed out. Doesn't look like we're going to get the super attack with that first slot, but that's alright. Be able to uh, mitigate some of the damage, and we'll try to save some of those orbs for next rotation. And the Bojack, even though he's not an LR, he is... Uh, He's still going to be a good unit for the event, not only for his leader skill, but you can see he tanks fairly well. And unfortunately, we're not getting super attacks off with him, but they aren't our main damage dealer here. So sometimes with the TUR units, they can be quite a liability, but the Bojacks are not that. Uh, they do have that good leader skill for this, the best leader skill, of course, and they can hold their own still as far as mitigating damage, so definitely don't be too worried about bringing them in. We do have the active skill with the Turles. We'll go ahead and activate that real quick. Alright, so you got our animation here. I actually only recently got this Turles, and it's just in time here. But, of course, we have the uh, his active skill gets that uh, key plus 24 for that one turn. So, let's go ahead and see if we can get some good damage off between... We'll, we'll keep him there. We'll try to get a, uh, a good super attack off with both of the other LRs, and there we go. We can get supers off. So we should be dealing a good chunk of damage here. There we go. The Turles is mitigating a good chunk of damage. We're going to get a max super attack off. And the good thing is with the Turles, of course, he does give Terrifying Conquers category allies uh, key plus 3, and he also gives attack defense plus 30%, so if your other units on this team are terrifying conquerors, so basically if you're doing an extreme type team like that one we were talking about, he's going to really help out. You can see that the Frieza did, without a crit, 2.4 million, really good. Uh, honestly, as it, the uh, the Trunks gets fairly tanky, um, I think in stage 8 and 9 that Frieza was hitting pretty hard, but it definitely, that damage output fell off as we get to stage 10. But he's still doing some good damage. You can see this Trunks has a lot of health. So we'll go ahead and get these active skills off as well. Of course, again, with this B-Pan, we are getting a 33% increase to damage here. And then we'll go ahead and do the Bojack's active skill as well. So of course, with the Bojack active skill, 
uh, we get uh, some pretty good stuff as well. He gets that transformation off, and he's going to be doing a little bit more here. So uh, let's hope to see him. I'm actually curious. I haven't got the transformation off with him for this event, so we'll see what he can do with that transformation now, see if it really helps put a dent in the health bar there. He gets a good uh, attack and defense plus 180% 180, 180 here, so let's see if that Bojack can deal some damage. The B-Pan is good for tanking, of course. It's a really tanky unit overall. Help mitigate some of the damage this trunk is going to be putting out. Alright, and this is the friend unit rainbowed out, so let's see how much damage he's going to be able to do here. There we go. So almost 2 million. He's got the additional attack. And let's see if he can get a crit, maybe. No crit, but still, decent, like, 3 million damage for a non-LR unit with these legendary Extreme Z battles is not bad at all. More than that freezes outputting, so that's good stuff. And uh, let's go ahead and... I'm, not, I'm actually not going to worry about those too much. Um, let's go ahead and just see if we should be able to finish it off without the active skills here. The first form Frieza may be able to finish off this last health bar. You can see he's tanking pretty good. And if you can get the Ultra Super Attack off, it really starts to put some damage out. And if you get a crit especially, you can get some good damage as well. So there you go, 2.3 million to finish it off. Again, that's a completely free-to-play unit, so definitely make sure. Get in there, Extreme Z Awaken, that LR first form Frieza. And you can see he's going to be dealing a good chunk of damage. And the other units we talked about as well are... Uh, are good for the event but again you can ex you can exchange any of these lrs that you see on screen with some of these other uh space traveling warriors category units try to stick with strength type units if you can uh prioritize lrs if you can as well but again there's some twrs that you can do and as some substitute leads you've got that frieza you've got that turles and there's also some other ones if you know maybe there's a, a uh leader that you use that I did not mention in this video, make sure to drop those down in the comments below. I'm curious to see if you guys have some other ideas. But that's everything I've got for the video today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Again, if you have any additional questions or comments or need help with your team build, drop a comment down in the comment section below and I'll help you out how I can. And again, make sure you're checking out the link and join the awesome Discord community because we can also help you over there. Send a picture of your box of units and we'll help you build teams as necessary. So I definitely look forward to seeing you on the Discord. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future content like this. Best of luck on the event. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys coming by and checking out the video. We'll catch you on the next one. Signing out.